This is a full tutorial on how to create YouTube thumbnails using ChatGPT, Dolly 3, and then there's an extra step with Canva. And after watching this video, you're gonna be able to make thumbnails like this. You know, this is a thumbnail that I used for a previous video on my channel. And this whole tutorial is gonna walk through my entire process from start to finish. And I'm also gonna give you three ways that you can make the thumbnails. Okay, on chat GPT, you're gonna hover over GPT-4 and you're gonna select Dolly 3. If you're watching this in the future, I know an update that's coming out that you won't have to select Dolly 3, it will already be enabled for you. So the first way to create a YouTube thumbnail is to just type in the video title. So I have a new video coming out. It's a work with me live where I'm building an SEO tool. So I just type in that video title. Okay, hit period. And we gotta make sure we change the aspect ratio. So we're gonna go aspect ratio 16 colon nine and then hit enter. And Dolly3 is gonna create an image based on that video title that you can use for your YouTube thumbnail. And there we go, here's two images. Both of these are great. Look at there's SEO on a chalkboard in the background. It's two people that look like they're working. Here's another example. It's the same two people and they're working both at a desk. SEO is on the laptop. And you can see because we use the aspect ratio of 16 colon nine, the images generated were in a landscape orientation. Now, unfortunately, Dolly 3 can't exactly make images in the 16 by nine aspect ratio. So there is an extra step at the end and that is through Canva. Now I tried to drill down into Dolly 3 to ask why, and this was the reason that the AI gave me. That YouTube thumbnail size is 1280 by 720 pixels, which also equals the 16 by nine, but the images that it can generate is 1792 by 1024, and that doesn't match exactly with the 16 by nine aspect ratio. So if you're gonna upload this thumbnail right to YouTube, it wouldn't fill the entire thumbnail screen you'd have some black space around in the border. So we have to fix that by stretching the image and we can do that in a free image editing tool like Canva. So that'll be step three, we'll get to that in a second. I wanna show you the other ways that you can do this. The second way that you can create YouTube thumbnails is first going to the default model of GPT-4, selecting it here, and then you're gonna ask it to create prompts for you for an image. So what I would do would be describe the video in a few short sentences and then ask the AI to create image prompts for our thumbnail. So for example, zoom in here, I made a YouTube video about starting an AI agency. Let's go AI and automation agency. It's a full walkthrough step-by-step -step guide on how to start from scratch. Give me three thumbnail ideas from that video description. Okay, zoom out, let's hit enter. Okay, the AI spit out three thumbnail ideas and they're pretty detailed prompts. So what I would do is I would grab, let's say I grab this first one. I don't need to grab the title there, just this. And create a new chat, select Dolly 3, and then paste that in. And then remember at the end, aspect ratio, 16 by nine, just to make sure it's landscape. So here are the two thumbnails that spit out. This first one, I see what's going for. It's a futuristic landscape, and you got AI text up here, AI text here, some gear icons. Second image, it has that text that it talks about, but the text is wrong. Start your AI agency today, build an auto nation empire. So you could either rerun this a couple times to see what it spits out, or if you like this one, download it, and then you can add the text separately in Canva. Okay, so that's the second way I'd go about it. The third way I'd go about creating a YouTube thumbnail is let's say I was gonna make a video about a similar topic as another channel. Let's say this Mohammed channel, I was gonna make a topic about the same thing. What I would do is I would right click, I'd copy this address, I'd go to Google, I'd search YouTube thumbnail downloader, I'd click something like this, I would paste that URL in, I would right click, and save image as. Then I would go back to ChatGPT, I would create a new chat, I'd go to the default model, which opens up GPT-4 Vision, I would select this, choose that thumbnail, and I would write, describe this image in as much detail as possible. Now GPT is gonna look at this thumbnail image and try to recreate it via text. And after a few seconds, you'll get a full description of that video thumbnail. So I'd copy all of this, and then just the same steps as before, new chat, Make sure it's Dolly 3, paste this in, and then end it with aspect ratio 16 by nine. Man, do I love Dolly 3. Look at this, this is fantastic, this is awesome. This is a great thumbnail. It's even covering the face, so if you do show your face on the camera, you, know, you won't know if that's you in the background. So this would be a perfect one to use. I like both of these, I like the first one a bit better. So that's the three ways. Now there's one more issue with just downloading this image and uploading it right to YouTube, and I'll show you the problem. So let's download this image. There you go, download to our computer. I'm gonna go to my channel dashboard, 
I'm gonna create a new content, upload a video, select one from my computer. And it's just like this. this is a channel trailer I'm gonna release. And then scrolling down in the thumbnail section, I'm gonna click this, go to downloads, and then choose that thumbnail that I just got from ChatGPT. And look at the problem. It says file size is too big. It can't be bigger than two megabytes. So that's why we need an image editing software. That's the last step of this process. It needs to do two things. It needs to lower the file size, and we also need to stretch it to fit the best aspect ratio, which is 16 by nine. So we go into Canva, and you can do this on the free plan. So this doesn't cost any money. I have four templates ready to go, but let's just select this one. I've made sure the canvas is 1280 by 720 pixels because this is the YouTube thumbnail size. So let's delete my old picture. On this left side, you're gonna click uploads. You're gonna upload file. And now we're selecting that one that we downloaded from Dolly3. We're gonna click it, bring it into the canvas, and then we're gonna stretch it to the end. There you go, the one side, there's the second side, and now we have a full YouTube thumbnail. So you can download this as is, or you can add some special effects to it. If I'm talking about a company, let's say Midjourney, I would upload their logo. You know, it just adds familiarity to the thumbnail. It improves the click-through rate. Say I drag this over here, make it a bit smaller. You could also rotate it. Let's put it here. You could edit photo. I like to add a shadow, a drop shadow, up the intensity, and maybe up the size a tiny bit, and then a little bit of the distance. And now you got a logo that looks like it's popping, popping out from the thumbnail. You could also add emojis, maybe a mind-blown emoji. Same idea, rotate, I'll make it a bit smaller. I'd edit that photo. Let's add an outline this time, and let's increase the size. Maybe let's make this white instead of black or red. And how I get these emoji images, you can go right from the Elements tab in Canva, but a lot of these are premium graphics. So what I like to do is I like to go to flat icon and then search for free icons up here. So let's go smiley face emoji, choose one to your liking, let's say this one, download, free download. Back in Canvas, same thing, upload, upload file, choose that emoji, and then add it into your thumbnail, just like that. Okay, when you're ready, you're gonna go to the top right corner and click share, and then download, and then just choose the regular size, click download. And now when you upload the thumbnail, it's gonna be the right aspect ratio, and it's also gonna be the right file size. So I can click this, click open, and there we go, we have a beautiful thumbnail for our new video. Even I would click this. Okay, quick recap. The three ways I create thumbnails in Dolly 3. The first way is I just straight type in the YouTube video title. In this example, we did a work with me live building an SEO tool. And then make sure you hit the aspect ratio of landscape, and then you could use one of these. The other way is I use GPT-4 and I write out my video description, and then I ask it to create some thumbnail ideas for me. And then once it's done, I choose the one that sounds the best or makes the most sense for my video. I copy that and then input it into Dolly 3. And the third way is if I'm making a similar video topic, I'll find a channel that already made a video about that topic, find a thumbnail that I like, let's say this one, you right click, you copy the link, you go to a thumbnail downloader, search it in Google, and then using GPT-4 Vision, you upload the photo and ask it to describe it in as much detail as possible. Then you can take that prompt text, copy it, and then paste that right into Dolly 3. But remember, to add the aspect ratio of 16 by nine. And because it can't create that exact aspect ratio and the file size is too large, you have to open it up in an image editing software. I like to use Canva. Stretch the images to the side of the canvas. You can add emojis and logos with some effects, like a drop shadow or an outline. And now when you download it, it's the right size, the right aspect ratio, and you can use it right to your computer. The whole process takes under five minutes. All right, good luck with your YouTube channel.